Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique. And today we're checking out what's new in the biggest new update to Texture by Devious Machines. They've listened to the community and implemented the most requested feature. That's right, you can now import your own sound sources and use the feature set from Texture to make beautiful character-driven drums, synths, anything you want. It's all coming up, so let's get into it. All right, so before we jump into the video, I wanna let you know this is a free update for existing users. So if you already have Texture, jump on Plugin Boutique, head into your account and download the update right now, no cost. Now, Texture came out last year, if you didn't already know, and it's a great tool for adding character to anything, really. What it does is listens to the dynamics of an incoming audio signal and adds texture to it. Now, there are over 300 high quality textures inside of the device. There's granular synthesis, there's waves. There are a lot of different sources that you can use to add character to your sound. There's a feature set that allows you to really sculpt it, really dial in what you're looking for, whether if you're looking for something crazy, building risers with noise, or just adding a little bit of character with some Foley sounds. It's all available inside of Texture. Now, I've already done a couple of different video tutorials on Texture, so I'm gonna leave those in the video description. This video is gonna focus on that new feature, importing your own sounds, and the feature set you have at your disposal to manipulate that sound once it's inside of Texture. So let's jump into it. So in this video, I'm gonna be using a simple drum snare loop, just so we can really hear what's going on and I can really show you very clearly what you can do with Texture. But once you get your hands on the plug, I highly suggest experimenting. You can go to the moon and back in terms of variety with this thing. So I've got Texture loaded right here inside of Ableton Live. and I can load my own sample two different ways. I can click right here where it has the noise name. If I click there, you can see right here, it says import your own sample. Or I can click the sample tab. Now I can use the file browser to find the sample or I can just simply drag and drop from my user library inside of Ableton Live. Now we've got four different playback modes to choose from. First up, we've got Trigger. Trigger is going to trigger the sound source that we've loaded from the same position every time a threshold is crossed. We have control over that threshold level, and we also have control over the start and end points of the audio sample. So this is a very standard playback method, something like you might get with a drum kit or sampler. But the next mode allows you to loop things. And this is where more variation comes into play. The loop mode, again, will allow you to set the start and end points of a loop. And what's really cool about this is that it will continuously loop whether or not your transpose is playing or your audio is playing. Now, if you're looking for something more random, there's the random mode. Using this mode, Texture will play random grains of the audio. So we're actually taking different snapshots from this entire audio file, putting them together in a new sequence and playing it like it would with the regular file. So this is even more random and it's actually creating a new sound from the audio file right out of the gate. The fourth mode is granular mode. And this is actually gonna take your audio file and use granular synthesis to create a completely new sound. And again, all four of these modes are completely unique and they also have a unique set of parameters that are adjustable. So you can really shape and sculpt the sound being generated or played back. So on top of the four modes with their specific parameters, we have global modulation sources, we have global dynamics control, we have two EQs now with visual spectrums inside of them. One EQ is for the texture, one EQ is for the original sound source, so you never need to leave the plugin to get the perfect sound. We obviously have envelope control of the sound itself here at the bottom of the plugin, and there's a lot more on top of that. So like I already said, I've already done a video covering most of that stuff, so if you wanna check that out in detail, I'll leave a link in the video description. Click it, you'll be good to go. So anyway, that's a quick look at the updated features inside of Texture by Devious Machines. Highly suggest checking it out if you're looking for more character and textures inside of your music. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date in everything in the world of plugins, and I'll see you in the next video.